How was the show? Loved the show. I'm still singing from the show. You played Overmoon. New song, out there, first time, audience. What's it like? That is that is one of the reasons to do music, I think. It was amazing because the first few times you share a song, it's always quite a crazy experience because you don't know how people are going to react. Are you scared <laughs> about it? Does it? No, no, excited, excited, very excited, and and it was so wonderful because the moon was actually shining. <laughs> That leads directly into the second question I wanted to ask is, you said an interesting thing about you love the intimacy of this festival. Yes. But machinery is obviously getting bigger and bigger. Yes. Which means bigger gigs. Yes. Which means yes. that tricky thing between intimacy yes. and a large gig. Yes. How do you guys yes. deal with it? I don't know, we just... I suppose if we don't notice, we have to deal with it. We just kind of play at each location that we have to play and we we adjust. I mean every gig is different, you know, so you can do a few big gigs but they're still always different. Like you can have a bigger gig that's very chill and easy for you and then you can have a big gig that's not and then vice versa with small gigs. So it's weird. Predominantly intimate is nice but the big needs to be almost more psychedelic. There's more more space for the delays to travel. Then, a question I've always wanted to ask you is, when you put the guitar down, so now you're just a lady with microphone, yes. and suddenly it's a three-piece, yes. without a bass, yes. but it's a three-piece, who's leading when you do those songs? How does the dynamic work between the three of you? Well, I suppose it depends on the song. I, I think at the moment, probably the... The vocals generally tend to lead, like the father gun, the vocals are very uh, predominant because they're kind of, it's very confrontational, but goodness for example where it's a bit behind, so it depends on the song. I think our next album will be a little less confrontational, so maybe the instruments will lead more, because I think the first album was very vocal. You mentioned a new album, when is that coming? The universe will, will, will tell us in time, but it is coming. I'm going to throw in a couple more questions. Uh, the difference between live and album is always a complicated thing. So I noticed midway through your live set, you put in the song that you start your album with. Yes, yes. Hunting. And then things went a little strange halfway. What's, what's going on there? Um, well, we, we like to do that. I, I've been enjoying that because um, a lot of the songs from this first album, which we're doing now, bar the, the new ones, is uh, they're quite they semi-aggressive kind of so we like to split up that energy and the tone basically the tone's quite angry you know? and it's quite uh, interesting to split the dimensions of having the two guitars drums and vocals sometimes one guitar drum and, and vocal and then sometimes just drum and vocal maybe even guitar and just vocal as well <laughs> last question and a purely fanboy one you got an album cover done by Storm Thorgerson, the guy who did the album covers for Pink Floyd, for Led Zeppelin, for everybody who's anybody. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> we, uh, I don't know man, it's, it's just an amazing honor and I'll, I'll probably go to my coffin with one of those in my coffin. Like. But, networks of the universe like knowing someone you knew someone came to a gig and was like okay you do that I do this we can do something okay, and there really, it is this is the final question but it leads on from that one is there's a there's a female on the cover of the album shot by Storm Ferguson in another country you're a female singer people assume it's you no doubt everybody throws a whole lot of females in rock and roll female lead singer blah 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 questions around you how do you feel about that whole thing what's the deal with that Let, how do i feel about people talking about the cover the woman on the cover or just well, labels those, actually, yeah. labels let's go with labels labels 
labels I find the latest label a label is I get called a rock chick often which is understandable because I play guitar and I play uh, rock blues with my band and, but, but I also like to sing jazz so labels are interesting I think it's easier to give people labels because then you can classify it. You're like, oh, what is it? Should I go see it? Yes, it's like this or it's this. But it's not necessarily an authentic description of the thing. If you gave yourself a label, what would it be? Oh, it might be eclectic. <laughs> Watch the space. <laughs>